everybody, it's Gail from thehappystamper.com. Thanks so much for stopping by and visiting with me today and checking out my paper pumpkin video. I thought I would jump on here and share with you some alternative projects that I made with this month's kit for September 2017. I have shared in previous videos, this is how I store my kits after I've used them and my stamp sets and things. I've got several of these books and I believe they're like, I don't know, eight by, I don't know. I'm going to guess, you know, maybe six by eight. Uh, but this is how I keep them um, in these folders and then I just have them on my shelf over here and it's a great way to keep everything organized. But what I wanted to share with you is the great, this is just such a wonderful subscription to have every month. It's a monthly subscription. You can go month to month. You can prepay three, six, nine, twelve. You save, you know, a couple dollars if you, um, you know, the more that you subscribe to. But the nice thing about this kit that I really enjoy is the projects come complete with everything. You get your materials to make all of the projects. These are the adorable projects that came in the kit for this month, for September. And I think this is probably one of my most favorites that they have done yet. Um, last Halloween, last October was a really good one too. They had really cute little burlap bags and they're just, it's a wonderful kit. And the nice thing about this is you don't have to do any thinking, any planning, any cutting, any anything. Everything comes already cut, die cut. This even has embossing on it. Everything's done for you. All you do is enjoy the stamping part of it. And for that, they even include the ink and the exclusive stamp set that you can't purchase anywhere else. So this is the cute, cute, cute card set. It's just a little uh, four by four, maybe three by three. Comes with envelopes, adorable. These I used as party favors at a dinner party that my husband and I had last weekend. And these were a huge hit. And I've got just some chocolates inside. So that's this month's kit. But October and November, those kits are going to combine together. So I'm really excited to see what these are going to be. But if you're not signed up, I think this would make a fantastic project to do. For yourself, I look forward to it every month, but perhaps you have grandkids, you know, and maybe you don't have a lot of money to spend and entertain and take them to movies and amusement parks. Well, for 20 bucks, you can make, this made eight projects, you can make some pretty significant nice projects and still have the stamp set and things to use down the road. So I think there's a lot of value in this. I really, really do. So I think it would be not only great for yourself, but also, like I say, if you've got grandkids and you don't have a lot of money or able to, you know, take them to the amusement park, Paper Pumpkin would keep them entertained for quite some time and you wouldn't have to do all the thinking and planning and cutting. Sunday school classes. I've got one lady who has a Sunday school class and she uses uh, one of the kits each month as one of the kids' projects and then they each get to take home whatever the little project is. So check it out. Um, again, coming up in October and November, the kits are going to match. I have no idea what they're going to be, but they're giving us a little sneak peek here, I think, at the green and the black checkered and the white and black checkered. So I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking, hmm, but I'm, I love it no matter what. So let's get on with the good stuff though, because I know you guys are here. You want to see the projects. All right. So the first project I created uh, was this card and this was just super simple. I used the stamp set, did some leaves in the background. I saw this card on I think it was Instagram. I know it wasn't Pinterest, but this is actually the little treat holder box with the embossing that was just cut down to make the square and then the stitch circle was used here. But these are all the elements and the stamp set out of the kit. And I love the keep calm and be thankful. 
that's so cute. So, and the foil, you just cannot go wrong with that. Beautiful. So I haven't done anything on the inside of that yet. Okay, here's one that I created. This was one of my ideas. And I think it's so pretty, you guys. Isn't it beautiful? I just love that gold. But even better is this beautiful background. Now for that, I used our um, petal burst. This is our embossing folder, and it's got kind of the leaves on it. So I immediately went to that. And then I used, again, just the elements from the kit. And I used this stamp that says, be filled with thanks each day. And I used the um, Baker's Twine that comes in it. Now the Baker's Twine this month can be kind of wonky. So you have to be a little careful with it. But it's got kind of a orange or a coppery kind of metallic in it. So it twists really easily, but it can also fray. So you have to be gentle with it. Um, you know, so yeah, that was one of the cards that I made. And I love it. And I love that this has the gold on it too. And the tags, they're already punched. You just push them out and that's it. And so I think that's really pretty. And then this was kind of a cool idea that I had. So this is the negative space from the sheet that the leaves come from that I've used on these projects. And I didn't want to throw it away because I thought it was really pretty and I liked how this looked with the background pieces still embedded in it, if you will. So I um, got my vintage black lace. This is in the holiday catalog. It's actually in the Halloween um, section. And I got my black ink and I just stamped the leaves in the background in black so I went with a black white and gold theme and then I tied a little bow here and I attached that with a glue dot which oh by the way glue dots are even included in the kit they come on a sheet like this so usually you need to supply you know your tape runner or glue or something whatever you want to use but they even included that in this so this one says be filled with thanks each day and that's another really pretty stamp that's in the this set and then I just tied the little bow and attached that with a glue dot but isn't that so pretty you guys so don't throw things away I keep all of my um, you know pieces and things because you just never know how you can use it okay here is another one that I came up with and I used the same grouping of the beautiful leaves with the gold. This was one of the small uh, three by three cards and I just opened it up and laid it down and I used some burlap that I had and then I used the keep calm and be thankful stamp and I also stamped one of the pretty little uh, leaves in delightful Dijon like I did over here on top of that. So that looks kind of pretty. Um, you know, one on top of each other. The layered look is really, you know, is what this is all about. Layers and layers. Love it. All right, so that's that one. Then here's a really fun one, you guys. Isn't it cute? Okay, so I used white cardstock and it's going to be a uh, portrait style card. I used the petal burst. Again, I used this wonderful embossing folder. And then I combined it with the kitty cat punch. Yes, the kitty cat. I love kitties and I have a beautiful boy that I am crazy about. So I wanted to use this and kind of combine paper pumpkin and my beautiful kitty cat punch. So I ran the back piece, my uh, four by five and a quarter piece of white cardstock, my whisper white cardstock, and I used the leaves that, you know, they have in the kit. I saved and I cut a small little snippet here to kind of make it look like almost a shelf. And this is from the gold that comes from a bit of the edging, again, from these sheets that I keep. And then I just punched out my darling black kitty cat. He's so cute. It looks just like my patches. And then I just tied a little bit of the copper rib, uh, Baker's twine. It's the white with the copper metallic. And I think this is just beautiful. I think this is so cute. It's just a little kitty and he's enjoying all the beautiful um, leaves and looking out the window and just enjoying the fall, just like we do. I know my guy, he loves it and he always wants me to open the door and let all the fresh air in. 
So that's another one that I came up with. And then lastly for you, another idea is I was making some treat bags. This is our envelope die and um, it's the little pouch. And so I just stamped on uh, pumpkin pie and I used the big stamp that comes in it. And this is a pretty large stamp, you guys. I had to go to a really big block to use it. And then I gathered my leaves like before, stamped on this one, put them here, used the be filled with thanks each day and attach the cute little baker's twine. And then they also, the kit comes with a whole bunch of these really cute little paper clips. And then I just put a little apple cider packet inside. And I think that's just adorable. It's cute, it's simple, it's fallish, it can be for Halloween. You know, not everybody celebrates Halloween, so you know, you kind of have to consider who you're giving it to. Um, but that I thought was super cute too. So those are some more ideas for you, you guys. I hope you enjoyed those. I had a blast making these. Oh my goodness, they were so much fun. I love coming down and just playing and coming up with cool ideas and thinking up side of the box. That's what it's all about. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, hugs from me to you. I'll have all the links down below in the description box. If you are interested or are wanting to start your Christmas shopping early, get some paper pumpkin kits. They make a fantastic gift and you can sign up for as much time as you want. Do one month, three months, all the way up to a year, whatever works for you. So I think it would make, make a lovely, lovely Christmas gift um, or a Hanukkah gift. So here you have it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed these ideas. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.